hello and welcome in this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for developers to see how you can use these tips and uh, for accessing data in Shopify so these are the thing only developers are going to need like normal user do not uh, have to know this stuff so let's see how this stuff is going to work if I am in the sport collection if you are going to the URL and write and JSON extension to your collection it is going to give a uh, return the json data for that collection it doesn't matter which collection that is i'm using a, a chrome extension called json formatter that's why it looks nice to me for you it might look something like that so you can go to chrome extension and install some of the json viewer or json formatter there are some nice extension that will make your data looks beautiful so here is how it is our current collection has three product if you want to know this stuff you can just send an ajax request to this url and you will have it simply like that just uh, just add the extension of json to your file so uh, imagine if i remove this one and i'll come back to my sport collection oops i remove this to a sport collection and i'm going to navigate to a product if i am in the product called let's say the nike shoe here we haven't designed the product page if you are in the product page and you do the same thing like add an extension of json it is going to give you the json object for that product for example product id the title the html is going to be the content the variant which is going to be different type of the shoe like small large or red or blue or whatever color they have and all of those data are, are accessible here these are handy for developers if they want to debug and see which data exists otherwise it is a bit hard so all of this stuff is available in liquid also even more of this is available some of the stuff that you are seeing in json are uh, here like, like missing like some of the stuff are in liquid but it, they are not in the json uh, file here but if you are using liquid that's fine but sometimes people make the theme using javascript and they with those theme are going to work they are going to take the handle of the product or the url of it and add an extension of json to that and they are going to send a request to the product page this url is the same as if you are going to the uh, products slash the title this is going to be the same if you refresh it it's going to navigate you to that product so if i come back to the catalog and show you something else too and you click on one of these tag let's check out how it is going to work i'll go to sport collection to make it a little easy I'm in the sport collection if I am filtering this by red it is going to give me only red products here it refresh the page and add another parameter to URL it is in a sport collection with red but if you are going to add shoe here it's not going to add that here it will remove the previous one and it will add another one so all of this product has a tag of shoe okay I'm missing a design here so this is the design issue I'll fix it later all of this product has a tag of shoe that's what it is showing here but what if you want to display a product which has a tag of shoe and red you are going to plus it with red this is how you can filter it now check out both of their, these are selected and this is how it is going to work this plus here is not like or or something like that this it refers to an and and it says like both of this product must have shoe and red otherwise it is not going to show that one that's why it if you remove this and only the shoes one all of these one have the shoe but if you add the red or any other one it is going to be a little limited you will come to know about shopify limitation when filtering there are so many limitation but there is always a way to get around shopify so i will show you the tips that i will know uh, for sure if i if you can like if you feel like something is not possible feel free to comment below this video and i will answer them but for now this is it for the front end this technique works the same way in the back end for example you are in the back end and you are going to a product page if you are in the products and you write the json extension here it's going to give you the json one and all of these are here if you check out this is the admin url so from the front end you cannot send an ajax request here to access this if you are able to do that one then you could able to go to the customer and display all the customers also if you go to the customer since i'm logging that's why i can do this one otherwise if someone send a request 
customer is currently empty we do not have any customer in this store for now but the json is available and everything else will be the same you have orders you can access the json one you have the setting you have menu you have some other stuff all of them if you add the extension of json to them that is available for you and json is also available as a filter for your product so if you come to the collection page here for example i am in this collection and it is going to show me some of the product like including product price here is the product for example if i come inside this loop this is a product and i will display the product i can append the json filter here and it will give me the json data for that product if i save it for now since i am not running a team watch it is not going to upload that but this will output uh, the product with the json and that json will be output in the of course in the html file here in the front end of your website something here and that is going to be unformatted so that is not nice to do but still for debugging purposes feel free to just write it down like this and you will see all the properties available for that uh, product if you want to access them for example you have the price if you want to have a comparative price inventory quantity and some other properties Feel free to just uh, display it outside like the JSON and then you will have access to this. So I hope it has been informative. Thank you for watching and in the next video we will start designing the template page.